to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. Oh, she's trying to close the door. <laughs> Eva, wind chimes. She's gone. Come on. Wait. She's over there. She's gonna fall. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Oh, she's got her. Yeah. Alright, so if you're in Texas, you know what this is. I don't know if you guys can see. <laughs> I'm gonna feel so. I'm gonna sneeze later. <laughs> so these are the cedar trees. Cedar is. What did your mom say? The highest that it's like. I couldn't hear, but it's like 19 something, right? It's like the highest that it's ever been. Well, since, in, since like, like years, like long, long time. Like, like 40 years or something. Yeah, something. Um, yeah. it's getting him. Yeah. Knock on wood. It's, I'm, I'm I okay. noticed it last night and I took a pill or whatever, the little Claritin generic, because why pay? But yeah, it sucks. <laughs> I see him down there too, and you can tell because they, they have like a yellow orange tint. And that's all the pollen. And so whenever the wind blows, that goes. There's a video of. Uh, have you seen that video? Yes. Where they're like shaking the tree and it's just like so dumb. falling Why? off. Like, I don't know. It's like glitter, you know? Look, I feel like there's more of us than there are of them. Why can't we just take them out? I have a chainsaw. Good morning. Good morning. Can I pet you? I don't have any treats, I'm sorry. All right, onward. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we're just gonna do a little walk and talk. We're out for a daily walk. We did start the 75 hard challenge again um, after doing it last February, March, last spring. Today's day five. Things are going well. Um, I think that I definitely so feel like pretty serious. <laughs> they're getting pretty serious. I think that I definitely thrive on something like this because I work well with checklists. Like my anxiety and things like that, checklists work really well for me. Because even the simplest of tasks, like in 75 Hard, taking a daily progress picture, drinking your water, like being able to check off the simplest task can help big time. So every day we do a 45 minute walk outside. Whenever the weather gets bad, usually we, we um, split we'll split it up in shifts. She obviously won't be with us, um, but we haven't had that yet. So I'm sure it's gonna happen. But um, I just kind of wanted to chat with you guys today about... Well, as I struggle looking into the sun, it's, uh, it's about struggling. <laughs> it's it's uh, our life in the RV and how we're getting through all this stuff. Like we have a lot of checklists, a mm -hmm. lot of things that we do on a daily basis and we've really amped it up during the 75 Heart Challenge. So mm -hmm. uh, we're just noticing all these little things like that would be easier in the house. And so that's kind of like the theme for everything right now. The house is gonna make things so much easier for us. I'd just be able to put her down for a nap and be able to walk out of the room mm -hmm. and just put the monitor on your hip or whatever. You know, Cause that's what dads do, right? They put it on their belt. Yeah. Like along with their cell phone on the other side. <laughs> so right now it's just kind of uh, 
uh, a waiting game, I guess. Like we have our our contractor, he said that it's gonna be done basically in like a week or so, and so like almost move in ready, right? Almost in about a week, and so that that you basically said that last week. I know, but then he wanted to take time off for the holidays. Come on, come on. And now this week he's he said he's taken off from his other jobs to come focus on this one. He wasn't here yesterday, which is fine. He, I think he was in Mexico visiting family. So I get it. Family's nice. Uh, basically, he's uh, I don't know how much work he's going to get done this week, and so we'll see. We'll just see if we actually get in a house this year. That went negative. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what he was saying about just being able to put her down for a nap and then walk out of the room. Because right now, um, we're all, we're kind of just like, I feel like we're kind of hanging on by a thread, just waiting for the house. Because, I mean, we're trying to get as much done, obviously, because he's got his work. Um, I'm in the fitness industry, so my work is picking back up right now. Um, we've got a challenge starting with First Form next week, so I'm kind of gearing up to help as many people as possible with that. So we're both getting busier. The um, Everybody typically kind of picks back up with work with the new year. So we're trying to balance that and figure out how to do that while still in the RV with her. Typically during the day, we kind of work in shifts and then we try to go to the gym or do, you know, if I go to the gym, Matt's mom watches Eva, he gets work done. Most of our work, at least most of my work gets done at night after she goes to bed. I know you work a lot during her nap time if you're not at the gym, but we can only do so much because she's literally in the RV in the bed and we are within five feet of her at all times. She wakes up easily, so it has to be dark, it has to be quiet. So if we're trying to like get dishes done, we're frustrated. Um, things can always be worse though. It's like not a big deal, but it's, it's a struggle. We're just kind of like, just being honest. Like that's kind of what we're dealing with. Just trying to hang on until the house is done. And I think it's more of like that anxious feeling because it's so stinking close. But every day we don't see somebody out there is another day we're like, oh, we would be that much closer today. But we can't control it. Like there's literally nothing we can do about that. Fingers crossed, hoping for a ton of progress this week. And then once they're done, like once we get the, the green light to start doing things on the inside, we're gonna start moving stuff in. So that's where we're at. It's um, a test of our patience, both in the RV and in the, like in regards to the house. Um, but we're just, we're ready. Like we're so, so ready to get in the house. Eva will have more space. You know, the RV is, it is she, she can only do so much in there. We take her next door, of course, but we want our own place. Like we want to be able to have our own living room and have our own space and be able to let her run around and, you know, be messy in our own house. <laughs> Cause Matt's parents are right next door, but it's like, I feel bad because she, like it, it's like a bomb explodes any room that she goes into. So that's just kind of where we're at. And I just wanted to just chat with you guys and we've always been open and honest on the channel. So it's just, it's kind of a struggle. We all go through it. Just uh, if you're struggling right now, we're with you. So that's it. You have anything else you want to add? Well, that's about it. I mean, the, uh, I mean, the only thing is like, I'm going to try to get an inspector pretty quick. I have a friend of mine. He's going to come out and take a look at it, make sure the thing's safe, you know, all that. And so the house should be, like, I mean, I think, I really think it's going to be done very soon. You said as the long, tent. Yeah, but that's as long as people stay healthy and committed, so. Yeah, that's the thing. And that's another whole thing that may come out of this. I may actually help this contractor with future jobs. Because a big thing with these guys is they know what they're doing, but as far as, like, schedules and communication that's where things kind of are are missing with at least our job right now like our house and so I just don't know for sure when he's come out or if there's a change he doesn't communicate that so that adds to those frustrations obviously that's actually the only thing that's frustrating me it's like I, I make sure to schedule my next day around whatever's happening and then if that doesn't happen then I'm like well crap do I 
scheduled the next day for this or is that not going to matter so i mean that's the only thing overall this actually hasn't been that bad it's just no a lot we we yeah. took something that we are already busy with and then decided well you know let's challenge ourselves so this is our own damn fault <laughs> So. But that's, it's also the point. You're talking about the 75 hard, right? Correct. That's the point of it, though. It's testing your mental toughness and, and ability to overcome struggles and obstacles and excuses. And a so, lost four pounds. There you go. There goes a hawk. Um, yeah, so that's, it's, that's kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to do it right now. Because it's a true test of, can you get this done? And it's, you know, making sure that your health is a priority even in the crazy times and that's something that I've been trying to do more than ever as y'all know in the last year um food costs less on for me well there you go because we keep going to restaurants otherwise but this guy also needs to focus on his health because you know 2020 I made my health a priority and he helped make that happen but I feel like your health fell to the wayside yeah. after we finished 75 hard and so I want to make sure that I'm your maintained. health is a priority too. Making sure that he's getting enough protein and all of that. But yeah, we just kind of wanted to share that with you guys today. Um, more of a venting session than anything. And just letting y'all know, like, we go through times of struggle. Obviously, we've shared those on the channel with you guys. And um, it's just kind of reaching out for solidarity. Because I know it's uh, other people go through it too, of various sorts. So this house, though, is going to, I feel like it's just going to be a big sigh of relief once it's done. Once we start moving in, really, once we get the green light, like I said, to move in, that is going to be a big weight off of our shoulders. And the closer that we get, I feel like the more, the more impatient we get because it's like so stinking close when we go in there and the floors are done, the walls are done. Literally, we're just waiting on like the fixtures and the cabinets and a couple other little things, but like you said, things that can get done within a day, especially the way that they work. Because once they do come in, they're fast. Um, we just haven't been in like two weeks. Yeah, we just haven't seen them in a well since the flooring last week. But um, yeah. so yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Of course, we'll keep you guys updated. Appreciate all of y'all's support. If y'all could, uh, one thing we ask for is just maybe some prayers and. And uh, whatever, I don't, positive vibes, whatever you send uh, to get the house done. Like ASAP, because we are going to go crazy. <laughs> More so me and Eva, but we're ready. We are ready. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Y'all have fun out there. <laughs> we will have fun in here, meaning the RV. Hopefully the house soon. Okay, bye. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show.